Hi, this is Eva Cartman, host of the Dream Big Podcast Show, the place to go to learn, laugh, and grow. I got an email the other day from a young big dreamer named Jenny Bernstein who wants to start her own YouTube channel, and she wrote to me asking how I became such a confident podcaster. Jenny is struggling with finding her voice, and while she has filmed a number of videos, she hasn't been happy with how they are turning out and is thinking of giving up. I wanted to respond to Jenny and figured I would let all of you hear my response as well. This is episode 239 of the Dream Big Podcast. You know what time it is. It's time to dream big. My name is Eva Cartman. I'm part of a squad of super kids that are here to change the world. We don't believe you need to be adults to have big goals and start working towards your dreams. We believe age is just a number and you're never too young to make a difference. We may be young, but we are not naive. We understand that achieving our big dreams will not be easy. It will take incredible dedication, hard work, and yes, massive action. There will be ups and downs, but we embrace the challenges and relish pushing outside of our comfort zone because this is how we grow. They may not teach us these concepts in our school textbooks, but we are smart enough to know that the tools and tactics to achieve our big dreams are out there. And we are willing to do the work to seek out these skills and master them because we know that our future depends on it. We are the big dreamers and it's time to dream big. Before we dive into this week's episode, here's Silly Sophia to make us all laugh. Why is Cinderella bad at soccer? Because she's always running away from the ball. (laughs) Why did the picture go to prison? Because it was framed. (laughs) Thank you, Sophia. I received an email last month from Jenny Bernstein, a big dreamer from Austin, Texas. Jenny wrote, Dear Eva, I am an aspiring YouTuber. For the past two months, I have been learning the skills needed to become a YouTuber, including creating my own content, filming it, and editing it. But here's the problem. I have recorded five videos so far, but I haven't liked how they've turned out and haven't published any of them yet. I am a longtime listener of the Dream Big Podcast, and I am amazed at how you publish new content each week and do so with such confidence. I've also been following you on Instagram, and am also amazed at how you do your Instagram stories and even go live and you don't make any mistakes. Can you please tell me how I can be confident like you? Love, Jenny Bernstein, Austin, Texas. First of all, thank you so much, Jenny, for your wonderful question. That's so cool that you're working on launching a YouTube channel, and I really admire that you are learning all the skills you need to do it on your own. First of all, let me tell you right off the bat that I do make mistakes, lots of mistakes. I've always said that practice does not make perfect. It makes progress. I never aim to be perfect. I always feel like I can improve. That's so sweet of you that you think that I don't make any mistakes, but I definitely do and want you to know that it is okay to make mistakes. You mentioned that you do not publish the videos you already filmed, and I'm wondering if you think that your videos need to be perfect to release them. Perfection is an impossible standard. Trust me, if I was waiting to be perfect, then I would have never published my first episode either. To help further answer your question, I wanted to share an analogy that I recently heard the great Jim Quick share in an interview. Jim was my guest in episode 69 of the Dream Big Podcast, and I'll link to that interview in the show notes. Jim is the world's number one brain coach and author of the best-selling book, Limitless, where he shares how to train your brain to unlock an exceptional life. In the interview, Jim was discussing the profound transformation of a butterfly. We like to think of a butterfly in its end form, a beautiful butterfly spreading its wings and flying playfully through the sky. But I'm sure many of you know that butterflies are not just born butterflies. First, they are caterpillars. Jim said in the interview, it is when the caterpillar feels that it is the end of the world that it becomes a butterfly. And while the beauty is in the butterfly, the growth happens in the cocoon. The creature struggles to get out of the cocoon. That's where it builds its strength for it to become a butterfly and soar to new heights. 
I just love that analogy. The butterfly isn't born a butterfly. It starts out as a caterpillar and struggles and struggles and ultimately transforms into a butterfly. If you think I am a confident podcaster now, then I would encourage you to go back and listen to my early episodes. For at least 50 episodes, my mom was on every interview with me because I was only seven and wasn't ready for interviews on my own. And then I did at least another 100 episodes, audio only, so I was not on video in those episodes. Why? Because I needed to look down at my notes constantly, so it would be too awkward for the guests to watch me reading my questions. So if you're just joining the podcast now, don't think that I've magically become a confident podcaster. This is my 239th episode. I've been doing this for over four years now, and I still to this day am constantly trying to grow and improve. Before COVID, I wanted to focus on learning how to speak on stages, and that got sidetracked since events were canceled, but that's something I plan to learn to do next. So back to your question, Jenny, you should not be surprised that you're struggling as you find your voice, but just get started. It's part of your journey. Right now, think of yourself as a caterpillar. You are in the cocoon working every day on transforming, and if you do, I have no doubt that you will emerge from that cocoon as a beautiful butterfly and spread your wings and fly. Thank you to Jim Quick for this incredible analogy that inspired me and now will inspire Jenny and so many other young big dreamers to embrace the struggle. Embrace the growth. You will unlock your potential and emerge as a butterfly soaring to heights you never thought possible. Are you getting value from the Dream Big Podcast? Please let us know by sharing a review on iTunes at dreambigpodcast.com slash iTunes or by leaving me a video message at sharewhathappened.com dot com slash dream big. I am responding to all video messages with a personalized video from me. So go to share what happened dot com slash dream big with your parents to learn more. That's all for today. This is Eva Cartman reminding you that you have unlimited potential. Your dreams are not optional. You need to make them essential. So take massive action to turn those big dreams into reality. Live with passion the way life was meant to be. I'll see you next episode. Bye.